Christ are true. He has declared that he was going away to prepare a place for his followers. When Jesus left here on earth, he gave assurance to the disciples. Look at in John chapter 14. I believe most of you memorize this verse. A very classical passage he said here in John 14, 1 to 6. Jesus said to his disciples, do not let your heart be troubled. Listen, okay. You believe in God. Believe also in me. And look at what Jesus said. My father's house are many rooms. In King James, should mansions. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, said, I will come back and take to be with me that you also may be with I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. And Thomas said to him, one of the disciples, Lord, we don't know where you are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus Christ prepared a place for each one of us. Prepare a room. If you put your faith in Jesus Christ, you have a special room in heaven. If you haven't put your faith in Jesus Christ, you don't have a room in heaven. At the time when Jesus was talking about John chapter 14, he has seen him on earth, he said, I will prepare. I'm sure you already prepared a place for us. And he said, after I prepare a place for you, then I will come back. That's the future. Beloved in the Lord, what you're experiencing right now is just temporary. We have a place called heaven, our future. Can you imagine if you will just pay your, your mortgage for the rest of your life? Oh, my God. If you are if just paying all your mortgage for the rest of your life, so you said, oh, I don't want to have to pay anymore. Or I'm paying my, uh, my car lease or, 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 my, or my car just paying for the rest of my life. You want to finish it, right? The same thing in our life here on earth. We have a future place. This world is not a place for us, all temporary. And that's why every soul of man are so important. That's why Jesus Christ died for us. However, one of his disciples, whose name? Thomas. Can you imagine he was with Jesus? He's not very far from other people who always come to church. But they don't go the way. I just come to church because of my husband or because of my children, because of my parents. Look at what Thomas said. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going. So how can we know the way? Thomas did not know what where Jesus is going. And that's why Jesus Christ gave this emphasis. He emphasized, he said, I am. He said, I am the way. The truth and the light, no one comes to the Father except through me. Because people, they thought that religion is the way to heaven. No. Good work is going to heaven. No. Being a good person. No. You said, I am. Friends, beloved in the Lord, going to heaven is through Jesus Christ. Amen. I am the way. How? As you promise you will return, you said, put your faith in Jesus Christ. If that's the meaning of the resurrection. Christ's resurrection is in vain. If one soul in this room or two souls in this room that you haven't put your faith in Jesus Christ, you must receive the respect in your heart as your Lord and Savior. And that's the Christ's resurrection. He is present in them. And the final challenge for us, as to we may take this message about this Christ's resurrection, the resurrection is an invitation to receive what Christ 
has prepared for you. He said in John 14, He prepared a place. The offer of eternal life is a gift that must be received. He is offering. He is offering. What have you done with your invitation? God is inviting each one of us. If we haven't done that, accepting that invitation, because Jesus is alive and calling for you to receive you today. The voice of God is calling for you today. Will you be made alive to spend eternity with the risen Savior? Or reject his offer to experience so-called the second death for eternal punishment? Resurrection is the announcement of hope. Do you want hope? And also a sounding of judgment. Everyone who receives the peace and king will perish. But everyone who trusts in him will live and reign forever. May the Lord bless your heart as we meditate this Christ's resurrection. May the Lord speak to us that all of us that we'll have is assurance of salvation that God has promised to everyone. And His invitation is offered to me and to you. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you, O Lord, of Christ's resurrection. Thank you for this testimony of the apostles and the disciples and those people who witnessed your resurrection. Even those uh, uh, first women, O oh God, in the tomb, the early morning. Thank you, Father God. This is for the foundation of our faith. Thank you, Father God, for this reminder that all of us, all Lord, that we must accept you as our Lord and Savior to have a relationship with you. And this is that the Father that is your desire for all of us to put our faith in Jesus Christ. And thank you, Father God, for this word. And this afternoon, whatever head about every eye closed, I just want to stand uh, as a short invitation. You are here today, probably you are coming here every Sunday, or this is your first time to hear about Christ's resurrection. But you will say, I am not sure yet about salvation. I haven't experienced yet about the true meaning of hope and life. But this today, I want to give my life to Jesus Christ. I want to accept Him as my Lord and Savior. And thank you for this clear understanding that if I will put my faith in Jesus Christ, I will have eternal life. That I will go to heaven one day when that comes to me. Or when Christ comes again. If that is your prayer today, you want to accept Jesus Christ, Lord, and save you. I will give you the opportunity to open your heart to Jesus. I will pray for you. If that is your, your desire today, please raise your hand and I will pray for you. Is there anyone? You want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Raise your hand and I will pray for you. Is there anyone? I don't want to take this opportunity just to pass and go on. Jesus loves you and me. If you want to open your heart to Jesus, raise your hand and I pray for you. Is there anyone? You want to open your heart to Jesus? Anyone? You can follow me this prayer. Probably you are shy to raise your hand. But really the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. Follow me with this prayer. With this prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the Lord Jesus Christ who died for me. Thank you for paying for my sin. And Father God, I acknowledge that I am a sinner. And Father God, I confess all my sin before you. And this, in this afternoon, I want to open my heart wholeheartedly. I invite Jesus Christ to come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Because I know that He is the only way. Father God, thank you for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Bless this Lord into our hearts. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Father, thank you for yourself, please. Our response.